So AI, or asymmetric integration, is a technology that Cannondale created to help us deliver short chain stays on bikes with bigger wheels, like 29, 27 plus, or fat bikes, with none of the usual compromises that come with having really short chain stays. Let's take a look at how it works. So we developed AI to deliver really short chain stays. Why do we care about having short chain stays? Right now it's a big buzzword in the industry. Everybody's talking about how short their chain stays are. Well, the reason everybody wants short chain stays is uh, short chain stays improve traction because it tucks the rear wheel up underneath the rider's weight a little bit more. So whether you're seated or standing, you have better traction. Also, having the shorter chain stays and having the wheel un more underneath the rider makes the bikes more agile. They're quicker side to side, a lot easier to get that front wheel up. So short chain stays really are better. But as you can imagine, getting there with big wheels is pretty tough. As you move the wheel forward, as the stays get shorter, you run out of clearance pretty quickly up in this area where the swing arm meets the frame. The tire begins to run into the chain stays, it runs into the front derailleur, and you run out of room pretty quickly. Up until now, the solutions for this have been, you either reduce the tire size, not a great compromise, you make the chain stay really thin, again, not a great compromise, adds clearance, but makes the uh, chain stay weaker and flexier, or you eliminate the two by compatibility and go to a single ring setup. Now we love single rings, we use them a lot, but there's a lot of places out there where having two rings is really nice. So we figure why limit the consumer to having just one chain ring? So with AI, we simply move the chain rings over six millimeters, which is something that we're able to do because we make our own cranks and chain rings. It's part of our system integrated design philosophy. Moving the chain rings over six millimeters meant that the front derailleur also moves over six millimeters, which opens up a lot of space, allowing us to move the chain stay over without making it thinner. And that opens up a ton of space for tires, for mud clearance, and allows us to shorten up those stays while still allowing full two by and single ring compatibility. So all that's pretty smart, right? Now we have short stays, we've got tons of clearance, we've got two by compatibility, but wait, there's more. Obviously, if you move the chain rings over, cassette needs to move over to match it, otherwise your chain line gets all crazy. If you look at the way a traditional wheel is built, the drive side spokes are much more vertical, the non-drive spokes are at a much shallower angle. This is fine, but it actually creates a bit of inherent instability in the wheel, which means it's going to flex more in one direction than it is in the other. With AI, what we do is we shift that hub six millimeters to the drive side. That aligns the cassette perfectly and centers the rim between the hub flanges. That gives you even spoke angles, even bracing, and even spoke tension, which makes for a stiffer, stronger rear wheel. And the cool thing about it is that because there's no proprietary parts, if you have an old wheel set with the appropriate hub, you can just dish that wheel over and turn it into an AI wheel quickly and easily. So that, in a nutshell, is AI. You get all the benefits of short chain stays, great traction, agility, nimbleness, with none of the compromises. Tons of clearance for mud and tires, full two by compatibility, and that great well-built rear wheel. It's an elegantly simple solution to a complex problem, and it's only available from Cannondale.